From the Edge of the Web Studios, here's what we're looking at this week. All right, so welcome uh, back to uh, our show. Uh, this is the Site Strategics Digital Marketing uh, News Desk. This is the bonus news podcast and video for Edge of the Web episode, Edge of the Web Radio episode 345. I'm your host, Aaron Sparks. Uh, joining me this week to take it on is Chuck Fields. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Aaron. Thanks for... You're more than welcome. So we certainly want our audience to go check out the full interview with Chuck that we were able to do. Fantastic unpacking of business efficiencies as well as uh, key passion ideas around podcast as well as podcast promotion and optimization. Go check that out. All right, so let's take a look at our first article today. Uh, uh, from Matt Southern over at Search Engine Journal, eight popular WordPress plugins are currently being exploited for uh, by hackers. Uh, a new report reveals an increased number of attacks against WordPress sites, all of which exploit security flaws in popular plugins. We'll roll through the plugins real quick. If you're actually utilizing any of these plugins on the site, you re it's recommended that you update them immediately and stay vigilant about updating them throughout the year. Uh, Duplicator. Duplicator is a plugin that allows uh, sites to export content on their site. A bug has been patched that allowed attackers to export site contents, including database credentials. That's nice. Um, Theme Grill Demo Importer had a, a 200,000 installs, and this bug actually uh, was patched in version 1.6.3, allowed uh, attackers to wipe sites and take over the admin account. <laughs> My gosh. Yeah. Profile, bu profile Builder, and, and at any point in time, Chuck, if you want to talk about any of these uh, or any experience, let me know. But Profile sure. Builder, 65,000 installs, uh, flexible checkout fields for WooCommerce. Oh, oh, and I use gosh. WooCommerce. Yeah, it's scary. I tell you, one thing that I really recommend. Uh, one of my one of my friends encouraged me to do this when I first did my WordPress size. Mm -hmm. WordFence. I don't know if you use WordFence yep. at all. Yep. Oh my gosh, it literally every week it, it emails um, all the hack attempts right. from my site, hundreds, hundreds, and I'll get denial of service attacks that'll happen every once in a while. I right. get in immediate notification. Oh my gosh. So WordPress, whatever, uh, you've got to do something. You just can't. Sit back and wait for it to happen. Yeah, there's so many users, so many uh, owners of over owners of websites that don't realize that this yeah, is all the time. happening all the time. Now we put our sites behind firewalls, WAF, WAF technology, so we can bottleneck and be able to defend. But the the plugins are still accessible, and the nature of WordPress is that you have a number of different. Uh, plugins developed by other companies, other yeah. other individuals, right? And these are automated attacks, so they'll keep coming at you. It's a Absolutely. computer coming at you. It can move a lot faster than humans can respond. Yep. So you've, you've got to do something. And, oh, my gosh, at the very least, you've got to have 2FA authentication yep. for your WordPress. Don't just rely on just a password to log in. Make sure it tends to a code on your phone that you can confirm the code. Very cool. You've got to double-check yourself. That's a good idea. Uh, another plug-in that's, that, that was is being attacked, Async JavaScript, mm. uh, 100,000 installs, a 10K map builder for ma uh, Google Maps, Modern Events, Calendar Light. Um, there's a number of plugins out there, Theme RX add-ons. Mm. So there's eight right there. Go check out the article and be sure to up those, update those to the most current version. All right, so from our, for our SEO side of things, we want to... To, uh, bring up an article from Impact, uh, Google, and this is from Dylan Leepak, Google updates the nofollow link policy, changing the game for link strategies. Now, if you haven't had the show uh, in your in your ear uh, over the course of the last few months, we have been talking about the nofollow uh, additions to uh, to the game plan here uh, that Google's actually paying attention to. Last week, Search Engine Journal reported that Google was penalizing guest posts Right, uh, mm -hmm. that don't have that no follow sponsorship or, or a, a attributed uh, tag. A few months ago, Google actually told the world it was going to change the way algorithms its algorithms detected and utilized the link attributes. And and as as of two days ago, Google will officially actually four days ago. Uh, on the 1st of March, Google will actually officially begin testing nofollow links differently. So the nofollow factors here that have been actually addressed and, and included are uh, the tags themselves are sponsored, rel equals sponsored, as well as rel equals user U UGC, which is user-generated content. Now, the deal is if you have content on somebody's website that you're posting guest posts on, that is can potentially be sponsored content. If there's a link coming back from that guest post to your website, 
you could actually no longer benefit from that. You actually could get penalized if you don't have that sponsored link coming back. And the same applies to any type of user-generated content as well. So they kind of fill in both buckets here. Um, what it means for webmasters literally is, is making sure that your outbound is correctly formatted for the no-follow tags. And uh, it's here, guys. We talked about it four months ago. You need to pay attention to these factors because it could irreparably harm some of your your link uh, link attempts or your link uh, profiles and your link your your inbound uh, opportunities. So check about about that. What, what's your take on on these these things changing in the Google sphere? Well, I'd say the the no follow was one of those incredible things that we just used constantly for for a while, and I kind of out of sight, out of mind. That's right. Thing so. I commend you for coming up with this article because I had honestly no idea. So oh, it's kind of scary. And 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 they're also I appreciate it. They're also uh, uh, I mean just following along with the, the Google Webmasters discussions mm -hmm. from John Mueller. They're also talking. They've, they've talked numerous times about ignoring or l using no follow as a as a hint as opposed to taking yes. it as a mandate. Mm -hmm. So no longer. Are you are you are you preventing any type of link authority coming through? They're now looking at all the different rel factors with a particular suggestion mindset as opposed to a mandate. So uh, pay attention to your links, your guest posting. Uh, you got to find an alternative alternative way to be able to build that link authority, guys, because uh, it's getting serious out there. All right, last piece uh, that we want to talk about from Search Engine Roundtable over Barry with Barry Swartz. Uh, Google announced uh, I, Google's I/O is canceled over the coronavirus caution. Google announced that they're canceling the physical in-person version of their massive developer conference Google I.O. over concerns of the coronavirus and with no surprise as Facebook and in Amazon and other big tech companies have also done the same. So um, there's a lot of money lost that's happening here mm -hmm. with these different conferences um, canceling. And uh, interesting enough, Barron's actually had a full list of all these cancellations. It was literally going Three, three screens of different cancellations wow. across the board. So uh, what are your thoughts about that, Chuck? Well, it's not only that. It's, it's just almost creating a public scare. I mean, it's one of those things where, exactly. you know, you're, not, you're just not sure. You know, is this precautionary? Yes, it, mm -hmm. it, it's good. It's important. Um, is it overblown? We don't know that yet. But, I mean, you cannot blame these companies for... No, you can't. And I do want to swing around and mention our good friend Doug Carr from yes. uh, Martech. Uh, uh, he actually mentioned something about this particular issue: is that it's not just about the fear of of what's ha what could happen. It's a PR thing. No conference wants to be a a contagion space right. because that could be be in, in, <laughs> incredibly PR. damaging PR. Yeah, right? Absolutely. So I mean, kudos to Doug for actually pointing that out because it it, it is and it is potentially overblown. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a there's a massive concern that's happening right here, but. Um, should we, we really be that hypersensitive? Because that's a slippery slope. But it's propagating down too. Even not only business, but I mean, well, yeah. I guess it is because my wife's business for it, they're actually to the point yep. where they're saying if your spouse is sick, stay home, don't come to work. Right. So it's literally getting to that point. We have schools that are closing uh, because of an outbreak. So people are getting really concerned. It's again, you can't. Blame them because once you do, you're the one that says, oh, it's it's overblown. And then right. once it becomes real, it's, it gets a little scary on that. So it's, uh, exactly. it's a fine line, I guess. It is. And there's a lot of uh, work from home discussions right. and remoters and what have you. Um, but, uh, man, it, you hate seeing all these hyper reactions going on. But I guess that's the state we're in right now. All right. So I want to always pivot around to the uh, last bit of our news talking about Google updates, uh, checking in with the chatter. And this is always led by Barry Swartz. want to give kudos to him. He's always paying attention to this space. Over the weekend, uh, like between uh, February 28th and March 1st, says Barry, there was a significant, significant chatter inside the SEO community. And uh, that also is evident in the back uh, from the uh, backup tools, the automated tools that are running. So uh, Quickly, uh, Jacob, you want to roll through some of these? There's SEM Rush, uh, SEM Rush with a bit of volatility at the end of this or this uh, over this weekend. Um, we also have uh, uh, the weather from Moz, which is also showing an uptick in uh, in uh, rank changes as well as well. Cognitive didn't really have that much. It still is a uh, an uptick there, and fluctuations over on Rank Ranger as well show that there's a little bit bottled, nowhere near what was happening in the early part of February. 
Larry. That was just a monster uh, overhaul. But I also wanted to unpack Rank Ranger one more step deeper because they also have a SERP analysis there. And uh, this is something that also, if you take apart uh, the volatility and look at some of the key factors, the, uh, the uh, related questions actually have gone down uh, over a, a portion of time here, right after, or right before, actually, the, uh, the, 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 bubble came, or the volatility of this weekend came, uh, took place, along with the fact, if you go back to uh, the February 7th, video carousel drop uh, has, has, has literally dropped in percentages by about 30%. So if you look at that graph right there, and we'll certainly have it in the show notes, um, that's a sizable drop of the visibility of video carousel. So maybe they're doing something in there, uh, not only from the algorithm, but also from display of video carousels as well. So pay attention to that. Uh, kudos to Rank Ranger for actually having some of that breakout content as well. All right. So thanks to AHRES uh, for continuing to be a sponsor of the show. Uh, AHRES, if you haven't checked that out, please do. Uh, it's a Makes great competitive analysis easy. Uh, if you're doing SEO and you want to see where your competitors are ranking, what pages they're actually ranking on, ranking on what keywords are actually ranking for those pages, they have all the content right there. You can unpack that, look at all the exact keywords, and be able to develop your strategy to challenge your competitors. If you haven't gone there, go there now. It's fantastic data. They get a free 14-day trial. Check it out, run scans on your own site, as well as competitors, see what, what they can unpack for you. So again, we certainly appreciate the, the sponsorship there, and uh, hey, jump in there and, and swim in great data, just like we do. All right, well, that's it for The Edge. Thank you so much for, uh, for your input, Chuck. Uh, we certainly recommend our listeners check out the entire interview. We got into some, some deep waters that there. That was a lot of fun, Aaron. Thanks so much. You're more than welcome. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to their our YouTube channel to get updated when we go live next week. And uh, we're going to be having Brittany Mueller, uh, Muller on the show from Moz talking about SEO in 2020. So let us know how we're doing over on edgeoftheweb.radio.com and take our listeners' poll as well. From all of us over at Edge, thanks so much, and don't be a piece of cyber driftwood. Bye-bye.